Okay then, here's the question, part A, part B, and part C is here as well. I've got the question summarized here, so let's have a go at it. So A, uh, differentiate, divide the X. Power rule, 9 comes down, 9 6 is a 54. X to the 1 less, which is 8. And the 2Y by DX squared then. The 8 comes down, 8 50 is a 400. 8 4 is a 32. 432, X to the 1 less, which is 7. So we've done that, part B. This integral then, I'm going to label it as I, save me writing it down again. Raise the power, power rule, 3 lots of x to the 5, over the 5, divide by that number. Plus, this is x to the minus 3, so raise the power by 1 to minus 2, divide by that number. Plus, constants integrate to constant times x, plus the constant of integration. Let's tidy it up then. 3 fifths x to the 5 minus a half. Uh, 1 over 2x squared we could write if we wish. Drop that down. Plus the 4x plus k. And that's part B. Now part C. So I'm going to label this i between 2 and 3. Save me writing it again. So i between 2 and 3 is equal to, raise the power by 1, divide by that number, constant integrates to constant times x. It's a definite integral, so we're evaluating that between 2 and 3. So let's have a look at it then. The 6s will cancel, so it's just simply, here's the template, top value, take bottom value. Put the 3 in, 3 to the 6 plus 5 times 3, and then put the 2 in, 2 to the 6, uh, minus, plus 5 times 2. So that's the numbers. 3 to the 6 is the same as 9 cubed, isn't it? And 9 cubed is 81 times 9. 9 eighths are 7, 20, and 9 ones are 9, so it's 729. Tap it in the calculator if you need to, plus 15 minus, this is 4 cubed, which is 64, and then minus the 10 as well. So that's what we've got. So what is it then? Well, 15 take 10 is 5. 729 plus 5 is 734. Minus 64 is equal to, the 4s will cancel, 73 take 6 is 66, so it's 660, isn't it? No, it's 600, and, I'll get it right in a minute, it's 670, isn't it? That's right, 670. Add 64 to that as a check. 7, 3, 4, yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? So that's fine. So there's the, van the value. 